Let's get a live look right now from the Democratic National Convention. Democrats are gearing up for day two and another big night of speeches from heavyweights in the party. Former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama are both set to talk this evening. The first night of the convention was all about passing the torch. President Biden received a four minute standing ovation from his fellow party members. And he was emotional at times during his speech, where he promised his full support for Kamala Harris after he dropped out of the race. Biden defended his accomplishments in his nearly four years in office, but argued Harris is the best person to finish the job. You'd be a president respected by world leaders because she already is. She'll be a president we can all be proud of. Harris herself made a surprise appearance amidst the numerous Democratic speakers, from the old guard to the new blood. People from every corner of our country and every walk of life are here, united by our shared vision for the future of our country. Harris thanked President Biden for his decades of service in government. Also passing the torch to new leadership last night, 2016 Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. Something is happening in America. <laughs> You can feel it. Clinton noted Harris could now be the one to finally break that glass ceiling. On Thursday, Harris is set to accept the Democrats' nomination for president, making her the second woman after Clinton to lead the party's ticket. And let's go live now to the convention in Chicago. Jeff Pojola with Northwest News Radio is there. So, Jeff, we mentioned that two more heavy hitters are expected to take the stage tonight, former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama. What can we expect from them, and what else should be we what else should we be watching for this evening well certainly those soaring speeches are something that come natural to former former president barack obama michelle obama a gifted orator in her own right so they're going to be talking a lot about the future of the party the future of the country and what kamala harris can do for them and, and the dangers of electing donald trump to a second term that's been kind of the theme thus far over the course of the convention this, through its first day is basically setting the differences between the two, between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, with trying to strike a more positive tone. So, Jeff, the Obamas tonight, another big night tomorrow, former President Bill Clinton, and, of course, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will be accepting the Democratic nomination for vice president. What can you tell us about all of that? Well, Bill Clinton, also a gifted speaker, and he has a tendency to go long. And, of course, last night we were uh, no stranger to, to long speeches. It went well past midnight on the East Coast, uh, about 90 minutes past scheduled time. Uh, but President Clinton expected to give a full-throated endorsement to Kamala Harris as well tomorrow night. Uh, and as you mentioned, Tim Walz, the vice presidential pick for the Democratic ticket, is going to give his formal acceptance speech. That's on the way. And uh, there's going to be a bit of a theme from not only the Washington state delegation, but all of the delegates around here. Minnesota theme, Prince, Purple Rain. Obviously, Tim Walz, the governor of, Miss governor of Minnesota, has now been ascending to the uh, vice presidential part of the ticket. All right, Jeff, thanks very much. You can hear Jeff Pojola's reports from the DNC all week on Como News at 6.45 a.m. and here at 11 a.m. and always on News Radio 97.7 FM and AM 1000. New security fencing went up this morning around the convention center in Chicago after protesters damaged a section of it on Monday. Chicago police did make some arrests during yesterday's protests. Thousands of activists have been marching outside the DNC since Sunday night, many of them supporters of Palestine calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. A reminder, you can watch the Democratic National Convention right here on Como. The primetime coverage begins at 7 o'clock tonight for day two, again at that time tomorrow and on Thursday evening.